Welcome back. In this short lesson, we will learn how to define the cell cards in the Serpent input file. In one of the previous lessons, I have already given you the general idea about the cells and the universes in the Serpent input file. So let me just summarize it here briefly. So the geometry in the Serpent input file is created by cells. A cell is basically defined by intersections of space regions, which are shaped by different surfaces. In Serpent, every surface that is defined by the surface cards divide the space, the whole space, into two parts, and we can assign positive and negative uh, sign to the different space regions. So uh, we assign negative sign to the space regions which are inside the closed surfaces. In case the surface is not closed, like a plane which is perpendicular to a specific axis, the space region which is facing the negative coordinate axis is assigned a negative sign. Let me also summarize the concept of the universes. Uh, in principle, any cell can be filled with a universe, which is a structure of other cells. We can have many universes defined in the input file. We can have a universe for each type of fuel rod or each type of fuel assembly. There are several rules that we have to follow. Uh, every cell must be defined in a certain universe, so you cannot have a cell that is not assigned any universe number. The next rule says that every universe must be defined in the whole space. So for instance when you want to create universe for a specific uh, fuel rod, then uh, you also need to create a cell outside of the fuel rod and you need to assign the universe number to it. The next rule says that it is only the universe 0 which is actually uh, representing the system in which we simulate the neutron transport. So that is uh, true, however the other universes are uh, also in a way present because the universe 0 contains a number of cells and these may be filled with the other universes. So all the universes are in fact linked together in a branch-like structure and they all end with the universe 0 which represents the actual system. Here we can see the syntax of the cell card. The syntax is very simple. It starts with the keyword cell and it's followed by an identification name of the cell. So this name we decide ourselves. It can be any number. It's arbitrary. You don't have to start from number one. What follows is the universe number. So this is the universe to which the cell is assigned. The parameter after that is the material with which the cell is filled. And there are several options here. Either you can state the name of the material. So this is in case the cell is filled with a specific material, which is defined by a specific uh, material card. The other option is to write the word void here. In this case, uh, the space is filled with void, so there is no material present. However, the cell is still inside of the system. So when the neutron enters the cell, which has a void in it, 
then there is simply no collision simulated uh, within this cell. The neutron just flies through the cell. The other option is to write the word outside. Uh, when you write the word outside here, then uh, that means that the cell is outside of the system and that means that any neutron that enters such a cell will be killed immediately. And the last option is to fill the cell with another universe. So in this case you have to write the word fill followed by the universe number by which you want to fill the cell. And then we have a number of parameters, one or more parameters that represent the intersections of the space regions. So these are the space regions, positive or negative, depending what kind of uh, regions we want to intersect. And here we have a simple example of several cell cards. The first cell card, we assigned the number 1 to it. We could choose different number. So this is uh, arbitrary. We can see that it belongs to universe number 0. So this cell is directly present in the system. So it will be visible to neutrons. Then we can see that it is filled with a material that has a name fuel. And it is present in uh, space region minus 11. So let's say that the surface 11 is a cylinder. So if it is, then the cell number 1 is uh, inside of this cylinder. The next card has the identification number 2. It's also part of the universe number 0, so it's directly present in the modeled system. It's filled with another material, which has named clad, so that's cladding. And it is present in the intersection of the space regions 11 and minus 12. So 11 is outside of the cylinder here. Let me write the number 11 here. But it's inside of the another surface 12. So let's assume that that's a cylinder with a bigger radius than cylinder number 11. So the cell number 2 is here, uh, in between of the two cylinders. And the last cell number 3 is also present in universe number 0. It's filled with material called water and it's outside of surface 12. So that's uh, the space outside of the fuel rod here. So that is all for this lesson. Have a nice day.